Alrighty, what's up fellas? Welcome back to this installment, this episode, this continuation of my series of Spelunky videos. This is number two. It just so happens to be number two. The walls are shifting. Yeah, I know. I thought I could skip that after the first time, but I guess not. Uh, after last episode, I don't have high hopes for what is to come in this episode since I, like I said, I have not gotten back into my groove of playing this. <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna take probably a good 10 episodes before I get relatively good at the game. I used to be able to rush through, uh, these are the mines, obviously, the mines section of the game. Oh yeah, I didn't explain in the last episode, there are four sections of each section, so. Like, the mines, there are four levels in the mines, four in the jungle, four in the ice caverns, and four in the temple. Uh, I used to be able to get through the mines and the jungle without getting hurt, uh, back in the day. <laughs> Uh, there's one ch Oh, damsel's up there. I don't even know if I can get up there. Fuck it, I'm not gonna bother trying. Uh, there's a challenge you have to do to unlock- You can unlock shortcuts too, like, if I just wanted to go straight to the jungle instead of having to do the mines first. Um, there are shortcuts that you unlock by doing certain things. And in order to unlock the shortcut to the temple, you actually have to, as I, as you saw in the last episode, there's uh, the golden chest or whatever with the golden key that gave me the Eye of Majid or whatever. Uh, if you take that key and carry it with you all the way to the ice caverns and to the end of the ice caverns, you that's how you unlock the temple shortcut. And it's just ridiculously hard. It Oh my good god, it's just terrible. Um... <laughs> I'm eventually gonna have to do it though, so, well not have to, but I'm eventually going to, just cause, uh, cause, just cause, just cause why not. <laughs> so yeah, first level of, so 1-1, one, 1-1 one. One, one, one is done, 1-1. One, one. Um, these, I looked at the uh, recording footage of the first episode, it was 8 minutes and it took up 12 gigabytes of space. That's a lot for one video. Um, <laughs> that, oh, I, mm, I'm not gonna be able to record these in huge batches like I do with my other Let's Plays, that's for damn sure. It's a huge step in the wrong direction compared to, like, my Teleglitch episodes. Those only take a couple gigs if they're long episodes, like, uh, 8 minutes for 12 gigabytes, that is just, what is that, like a 4 to 3 ratio, I think? Without doing the proper math, I think it's a 4 to 3 ratio. So, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna work out if I end up in like a half an hour long video, but uh. I don't know why I'm checking out the journal entries. There's just enemies. Ow! That was stupid damage right there. Sorry, if I'm saying stupid damage. I'm probably gonna say it a lot because, well, it is a thing that happens in this game. You're just stupid and you take damage. But I've been watching a lot of Northern Lions videos. And he says stupid damage a lot, so... Uh, if the spider would quit being an asshole, there we go. Um... Should I risk getting that? I don't know. I'm doing it! Ah, good. I didn't die. That is a good thing. That's always a good thing. Oh! The damsel! My doggy! I actually have this set to default to dog on the Xbox version. Okay, uh, climbing gloves, I pretty much always buy those, um, just because they allow you to climb walls, which is very useful, it helps conserve ropes. Uh, early in the game, the shop items are cheaper than later in the game, so if you find climbing gloves, at least in my opinion, if you find climbing gloves at the beginning of the game such as that, I highly recommend taking advantage of that opportunity to get them. I don't know how I'm gonna activate this spider without... There was no way. There was just no way that was happening. <laughs> oh, fuck. The big spider. Um... I think I can just completely avoid him. Oh, God. Nope. He's on to me. He's on to me. Okay, so I killed him. That's good, because then I can get his sticky, like, What's it called? Paste. And that makes it so my uh, bombs are covered in glue and they stick to whatever surface they hit. So 
It's good and bad. If you're good at ah, aiming your oh my good god, I'm fucked. If you're good at aiming your bombs, oh, I should probably use a rope here. If you're good at aiming your bombs, it's useful. Um, or if you just want to troll enemies, like the big spiders, I'll use it on them because it's quite useful when you can just stick a bomb to the enemy and they're dead. Um, shut up! I hear people outside and it's really pissing me off. I hate when I can hear people from within the confines of my room because I like to. When I'm in here, I like to pretend that there's no outside world. It's just me, just playing spelunky. Why am I trying to go for that spider? I'm the biggest idiot ever. That could easily be the death of me if I tried to do that. Ah, didn't have enough momentum at that point. Uh, that is a stupid thing to do, by the way. Oh, double kill. Uh, never hit open pots! <sighs> well, I guess that's the end. Uh, I'll just finish that thought, I guess. Never open up pots, like, whipping them like that, because... Oh, over here is where the shortcuts are, by the way. As you can see, nothing's been started. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, never hit the pots, because there can be snakes in them and cause instant damage, and it's just terrible. But yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe it, and uh, stay tuned for more episodes of stuff, preferably Spelunky and Teleglitch, because those are the two, uh, the, those are two series I'm doing. So. Oh yeah, and my library is also a thing on Saturdays. Uh, oh yeah, I updated my, uh, nah, you know what, I'll maybe talk about that in the next video. <laughs> okay, bye!